unidentified body was Woman discovered this morning. Discovered this morning. Male suspect was arrested today, four days after long as this murder trial. Began today. Explosive testimony. After recorded. two weeks, the jury returned a stunning verdict today of not guilty. 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 Okay, Claire, everybody's here now. You have our undivided attention. Please tell me I did not just rush all the way over here to hear about another get-rich-quick scheme. Oh, very <laughs> funny. One day it'll happen, you'll see. But that's not the reason I asked you all to meet here. Girls, I'm officially off the market. What? You? You're joking. No. Who is the unlucky man? Someone I had a crush on in high school. Can you narrow that down a little? You have a crush on a different guy every week. Yeah. <laughs> Clay Norman. Clay Norman? Oh. The Clay Norman? That's right. <laughs> Didn't he move away in the last year? How did you find him again? The internet. This website called classreunion.com. You can look up your school friends from the past. Anyway, I emailed him, and a couple days later, he emailed me back. Details, please. Well, he's 6'3", hunky, a Virgo, a successful stockbroker, and we've been seeing each other seriously for the past three months. Claire. You realize that you've broken rule number one of the covenant. You shall keep no secrets from your closest friends. Hello. <laughs> so is he the one? Yeah, I think he is. Claire, we are all so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. So let's have a party next week and I can introduce him to your husband. Well, you may not want to introduce him to Russell. Chances are he could pick up a few bad habits, like how to cheat on you. Come on, Jess. Cut on some slack. It's been months and you're still upset about it. Yeah, he had an affair, Rose. Of course I'm upset. Suspected affair? Sweetie, we had this conversation last week, the week before, and the week before that. You have no proof. Plus, he firmly denied it. I mean, at worst, it was nothing but an innocent flirtation. Girls, I just had a flash of brilliance. Marcus Declan. <gasps> Remember him? Yeah. Sure, who could forget Super Jock? <laughs> in high school, you were all goo goo ga ga over him. You would write about him in your diary. I'm just saying, if, if Russell can practice some innocent flirting, you can too. Why don't you look him up on classreunion.com? Interesting. Careful. Where there's smoke, there's fire. I'm not saying she should have an affair, Rose. I'm just saying it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. Besides, aren't you just a little curious about what he looks like all these years later? I mean, he could be fat and bald, and he'd be happy that you never ended up with him. <laughs> or he could be super hot. Uh, yeah. And as much as I would love to stay and be the topic of conversation, I have to go get the kids. So I'll see you girls later. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Listen, Jess, I don't think Lynn's suggestion is a good idea. A little attention would make you feel better, sure, but maybe what you should do instead is give Russell a break. Look, I've known him as long as you have, and he's totally devoted to you and the kids. I don't believe he fooled around. God, he's just so frustrating lately. I mean, I just look at him and I'm mad. I, I have all these thoughts that are running through my mind. I can't get him out of my head. You can't let it consume you, honey. You have to let it go. I know. You're right. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Thanks, Rosemary. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Okay. See ya.
you guys take Lucy to the park for a little while? Oh, Mom, I got a new game I want to try out. Well, Katie can go. Oh, well, you know, I actually have a lot of stuff in the house you could help me with if you're not interested in going to the park, Josh. Let's go, Lucy! Let's go! Hi. Hey, be back in half hour, okay? See you later, Mom! <laughs> As you walk along the road of life Now and then there's bound to be a storm But even when the rain is falling Angels always hear you calling They will light your way and keep you warm So give a smile to one whose light has dimmed Happiness to someone who is blue Hey, Mom. Fine. I have to ask a favor. Um, what are the chances of you looking after the kids tonight? Really? Okay. Um, I will drop them by in probably an hour. Good dog. Okay. Lucy. Uh... Sit. Maybe you better make that an hour and a half. First, Lucy needs a B-A-T-H. Okay, Lucy, come back. Come here. <laughs> Lucy. Come on, come on. Come back. Come on, Lucy. It's just a man. <laughs> oh, come on. You almost home? No, actually, sweetie, I am uh, stuck here with a client, and I know this is gonna be another long night, so uh, don't wait up, okay? How are the kids? They're fine. I sent them to my parents, Russell. I thought maybe we could spend some time alone tonight. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. I'm... I... I just can't. Hopefully you didn't get in too much trouble. Well, actually... Uh, look, honey, uh, I gotta go. Uh, don't stay up. Love you. Bye. <laughs> I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> We'd always be together Said that it was so Said we'd be the good guys Always give and go See through the bad times Swinging to and fro I wonder how we lost love I'd really Cause the damage has been done 
It's after two. Must have been pretty important. Believe me, if I could have been here and missed the meeting, I would have. Tired, Russell. Usual, you know, superstars being obnoxious and has been doing reality shows. Boring. How's Doug? He's doing great. Oh, I can't believe it. The other day he tells me he wants to do something exciting. Jess, I'm tingling thinking, you know, in the bedroom. But no, he wants to go parachuting. I <laughs> don't get it. Well, it's probably a little more safe for him. Just joking. Oh, by the way, I saw Russell over at Lincoln's the other night about 10 30. Oh, yeah? Who is he with? An attractive blonde in a dress to die for. I got the impression they knew each other, considering they were toasting over champagne. Did you talk to him? No. We were at the door already. Doug was in a hurry. We had a flight in the morning. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure it's nothing. You know, just business or something. Yeah. You know what? Um, I completely forgot I have an errand to run. I gotta go. Just Jessica. Go wash up, okay? Okay, go okay. Wash up. Come on, Lucy. Huh? Get some dinner. Come on, Lucy. Come on. Yeah, I'll raise you. <gasps> hey, sweetie. Hey. Busy day at the office? Yeah. The usual, you know, uh, crazy ads, demanding clients. You know. So, how was your meeting the other night? Oh, what meeting? You know, the one you came home late from. You remember? Oh, it, it went well. Oh, good. You care to elaborate on that? Yes, well, what's with all the questions? What's with all the answers, Russell? Awfully vague, don't you think? It's work. Sweetie, when I'm home, I don't necessarily want to talk about work. I want to talk about other things. Oh, is that what it is? It's all work? <sighs> Kids, go upstairs. We've been down this road before. Nothing's happening. I don't know what I can say to convince you that I'm not cheating on you. I don't know what to think anymore, Russell. I really don't. You need to trust me. You do. Russell, I'm going to sleep in Katie's room tonight. Oh, come on, hon. I need to be alone. <phone rings> What's the matter, Russell? Aren't you going to answer the phone? Might be important. Maybe she's work-related. There he is. 
the man of the hour. Oh. Congratulations, buddy. You did it. You, my friend, have the magic touch. Ah, I don't know about the magic touch. Long hours, sleepless nights, and mega stress. Ah, what are you talking about? Save that modesty for John Slater, all right? You nabbed the Loriana account, Russell. And that's kudos for you. I mean, from here on in, you can write your own ticket. What's the matter, buddy? Everything okay? Yeah, thanks, Sam. I just, uh, have a lot on my mind, that's all. All right. I'll tell you what. If you need a lawyer, I'm your man, okay? <laughs> it's nothing like that. <laughs> Good. I gotta run. I'll catch you later? Thanks. All right. Reunion.com, huh? Why not? Jessica Hartley. Marcus. Wondering how you've been all these years. Email me if you want to chat. Best regards, Jessica. So where's our workout queen today? Oh, Clara is out browsing for rings with Clay. Nice. Speaking of browsing, I may have sent an email to Marcus. Okay. What did he say? Is he is he married? Single? Divorced? Is he is he a doctor or a pineapple plantation worker? I just sent him the email an hour ago. Oh. Well, you need to tell us what he says when he replies, right, Rose? Of course I will. You ladies seem to have a lot to say. Perhaps one of you would like to lead the class? Or better yet, show the class what you have learned. You, come with me to the front. Bring your Shane eye. Sponsors! Well done. You might rejoin the class now. This is a lesson for you. Never trust anyone. To trust no one is to trust everyone equally. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, class. Back to Carlos.
Hey there, glad to hear from you. Do you still live in Seattle? Yes. And I love it. Wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I'm in San Diego now. Good place to be if you're a real estate broker. I'm actually going to be in Seattle on Friday for a few days. What do you say we grab a drink or a bite to eat? It'd be fun to catch up. Sure, that would be nice. Great, I'm gonna be staying at the Sheraton Grand, you know Riverside Coffee Shop on Pike Street. Yes. Shall we meet there tomorrow, say 1 p.m.? See you then. Jessica? Marcus! In the flesh. Hey! Hey! Good to see you. Good to see you. I can't believe you recognize me. I knew it was you. You are by far the prettiest woman in here. Oh. I hope you don't mind me saying so. No, I'm flattered. Thank you. And I can see you're the same old Marcus, just as charming and good looking as ever. So tell me, what, what's been going on in your life? Do you, do you have a lucky lady, or? Well, if you're asking if I'm married, uh, no, I had a few relationships, but somehow they never worked out. Well, their loss, I'm sure. So, what about you? Married? 12 years, and um, I have two kids. Josh is nine, and Katie's 11. Nice. Yeah. Happily? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to pry. I, you don't have to answer that. Oh, it's OK. You just caught me off guard a little bit. Um, let's just say it's a struggle sometimes, you know? To old friends. To old friends. Cheers. By the way, thank you. For? You saved me from having to spend the afternoon with some boring executive. Okay. Well, then in that case, I think we need another toast. Cheers again. Cheers again. I had a great time, Jessica. Me too. It was fun talking about our old school days. Yes, it was. And by the way, I had no idea you had a crush on me back then. <laughs> I mean, I almost choked on my sandwich when he told me. Seriously, look at you. I mean, how could I have missed such a beauty? Oh, well, thank you. But you had your eyes and your hands full of Rachel Hetherington, Miss Cheerleader, who, by the way, is an absolute snob. I know, I know. I plead the fifth. An hour and a half is much too short to catch up on nearly 20 years. I know, it's true. You know what? I'm leaving the day after tomorrow. Have dinner with me tomorrow night. Oh. I don't know, Marcus. Hey, purely innocent, although selfish on my part, I really enjoy your company. The Bedford, the best steakhouse in town? Come on, you can't pass that up. Besides, you can't let an old friend eat alone. All right. Great. 7.30, I'll see you there. Okay. It was nice seeing you. Nice seeing you. Bye. Lynn, call Claire. I'm gonna call Rose. We need to meet at the park in 30 minutes. I just met with Marcus. So I know. Marcus. Marcus. Who's Marcus? Okay. He's six feet tall. He's got all of his hair. He's very charming. He's some sort of real estate developer. Oh, okay. So he's interesting, good looking, owns real estate, has money. That sounds like a great combination. He's leaving in a few days, so I am having dinner with him tomorrow night at the Bedford, but before anyone says anything, it is not a date. Then what is it? He just doesn't want to dine alone. Oh, it sounds to me that he wants the dessert more than he wants the dinner. Oh, relax, Rosie. We're just having fun. I think you're a little bit jealous. 
Hold on a second. I am not jealous. I am concerned. Why would you be jealous? You didn't know? Know what? I went on a few dates with Marcus in high school. Nothing special, we didn't click. Anyway, that's not important. Are you sure you're not crossing the line? Now, come on, Rosie. It's only an innocent little bit of flirting. Why didn't you tell me about you and Marcus earlier? Nothing to say. It's not important. Seems like a big deal. Traces, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye See Mom. ya. Rose, guess what? Our friend Marcus just sent me a dozen roses thanking me for joining him for lunch today. Sounds like a little more than consideration, Jessica. Uh, flowers sent to your home? Does he know you're married? Of course he knows I'm married. It's purely innocent. Jess, are you sure you know what you're doing? OK, Rose, please don't lecture me. It's all right. Besides, I'm a big girl. Just be careful, OK? I will, I promise. All right, I'll call you later. Bye. Hey, Jess. Listen, don't make any plans for tonight. Um, I'll tell you about it later. Call your folks, see if they can babysit the kids or get a sitter. We'll need to be ready by 6.30, okay, sweetie? It's a surprise. So, what's going on, hon? You're being so mysterious. Well, I can't tell you just yet, but I promise you won't be disappointed. All right. John, good evening. And you must be Mrs. Landers. Yes. Yes, I'm John Slater, CFO of Loran and Perfumes. Well, congratulations, Russell. Thank you. Michelle is ecstatic with the campaign. We look forward to great things. <laughs> nice to meet you. And you. OK, who is Michelle? What are you being congratulated for? Michelle Loriana, head of Loriana Perfumes. It's the deal I've been secretly working on for the last few months, and Jess, I did it. I closed it. She was so blown away by my concept for a new campaign, the Spine Advertising just landed the contract for $20 million a year. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, Michel. Oh, hello. It's so nice to meet you. Rosalind mm. spoke many times about you. You must be so proud of your husband. <laughs> Very. You know, the French ever say, behind every successful man, there's always a smart woman. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Russell has spoken of you many times over the past several months. So I'm very pleased to finally meet his inspiration. Oh. Michelle. Oh, c'est la vie. Business comes first. Please enjoy. She's so nice. I just want to tell you that the last few months when I've been working on this campaign and building it and selling it and creating it, I've just been so stressed. Shh. 
You know what? I'm the one who should be sorry. I should have trusted you. Please forgive me. This is gonna be good for us. Your story is looking great. Thank you. So, Jessica, Russell wasn't having an affair after all? No. Are you still joining that sexy creature, Marcus, for dinner? Yes. The way I figure it is, I get to have dinner at one of my favorite restaurants with an old friend, and he's leaving tomorrow anyway for San Diego, so it's no big deal. Exactly. So are you going to tell Russell? Yeah, in a few days. It's not that I'm trying to hide anything, Rose. I would just really like to get some closure to yesterday first. You know? Ooh. Your table's right over there. Thanks. Sorry, my turn to be late. No, it's worth the wait. You look lovely, Jessica. Thanks. To us. I can't believe it. Can't believe what? That I let you slip away all those years ago. I must have been a fool. I am so glad to see you again. I mean, it's crazy, but I've thought about you all day long. Marcus. No, let me finish. I delayed my return trip for a few days. I want to spend more time with you. Um, I don't think this is a good idea. I should probably go. Go? <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought you liked me. Liked you? Marcus, I'm married. I mean, we... But we connected, Jessica. I mean, didn't you say you were unhappy? Didn't fate bring us back together? No. We shared a lunch together. That's all. Yes, I said I was having some difficulties in my marriage. But some things have changed. I'm happy I love my husband, Marcus. So you're blowing me off? OK. Let's just say I definitely made a mistake. No, no, no. Oh, wait, wait, Jessica. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I misread the situation. You know, I, I've had a couple drinks. Please, please don't go. Have a safe trip back, Marcus. I'm sorry. Jessica! Jessica! <laughs> Jessica. I thought you were working late tonight. Change of plans. Disappointed? No, of course not. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to see you. I have a surprise for you. You do? What is it? Eyes closed. Okay. Keep them closed. They're closed. All right. Voila. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Russell. It's amazing. <sighs> Look at all these roses. I saw those roses downstairs, and I said to myself, I can't let my wife buy roses for herself. You OK? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'm just a little bit overwhelmed. Uh, well, I hope that you'll be overwhelmed even more by your next surprise. Oh, Russell. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me put it on you. Oh, honey.
Hello? <sighs> Who was that? I don't know whoever it was. They hung up. Hmm. <sighs> Who is this? That's strange. You're up again. All right. Hey, look, this isn't funny. Okay, I'll fix that. You bastard. Jess, it's me. You all right? Sorry, honey. Yeah, I'm just a little bit wound up from the other night. Sorry. Oh, don't worry about it, honey. I was calling to see if you like some takeout tonight. How does Ty sound? Actually sounds really good. That would be great. Good. I'll pick it up on my way home. Okay, bye. Bye, sweetie. Marcus, you son of a bitch. What do you think you're doing? right now, please. What is it? What's the matter? I'm scared. Just get home.
Jessica? Rose, thank God. Sorry, I should have called. Why? Are, are, who are you expecting? It's Marcus. I should have listened to you, Rose. He won't leave me alone now. Oh, my God. What did he do? Did he hurt you? Are, are you okay? No, he's stalking me. I, I, I heard a, a crash. It was my car window. And when I went to see what happened, he was pointing some kind of a crossbow or something at me. Call the police. I will, but Russell's on his way home, and I have to tell him first. Will you stay with me? Of course. So sorry. Listen to me. What I'm about to tell you, you have to believe me. Nothing happened. Uh, what are you talking about? Russell, she had an innocent dinner with someone she knew from high school, Marcus Declan. And now the creep is stalking her. Was he on the phone last night? I think so. And he was just here. He threw a rock through the car window and he threatened me with a crossbow. Okay. Okay, enough is enough. We are. Calling the police. We're gonna dust for prints. What about the neighbors? We talked to them. No one saw anything. Miss, did you see Mr. Declan or anyone else uh, that could have thrown the rock leave the area? I, I didn't see anyone. Okay. Well, let me see. He was he was in black, uh, pointed at a crossbow, and never fired. That's right. I know it was him. Well, until we have a witness or proof, uh, there's not a whole lot to go on. Well, at least you're going to talk to him, right? Yes, we are, sir. If he's still registered at the Sheraton, we're going to bring him in for questioning and read him the riot act. That's all we can do for now. Well, you let us know what happens. Yes, we'll call you later. If you have any questions in the meantime, your case file will be with Detective Weber at the downtown precinct. Thank you, officer. OK? Thank you. Bye. It's me. Yeah. What about the rock? Any prints? <sighs> yeah, well, we hope we don't have to talk to you again either. Thanks, officer. <sighs> well, the rock had no prints, but they brought in Marcus Declan, and they questioned him, and they released him about an hour ago. They said that uh, they laid it on pretty thick, so I don't think he'll be bothering us anymore. Apparently, he's leaving town tomorrow. Good. OK? Yeah. Back to the movie. Please go get Lucy. Yeah, sure, Mom. And don't you touch my drawing when I'm gone. And just to keep you from doing what your sister just asked you not to do, how about we go over your chores today? Lucy! Breakfast time! Come on, sweetie. Where are you?
Lucy? Is that you? Lucy? Go on. I'll be right there. Go. 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 Okay. You must have poisoned her. Okay. We need to get her to the vet. We gotta hurry. How could anyone do this? Russell Anders, you wanted to see me? Oh, yeah, uh, the suspect in this case is, is uh, Marcus Declan. I think he poisoned our dog. I found her nearly dead this morning. OK, let's go to my office. Poison? Are you sure about that? Well, I took her to the vet, and uh, he said that uh, he was almost certain that it was strychnine. Uh, he's running some tests, and we'll have those later this week. OK, uh, did you or anyone else witness Mr. Declan poison your dog? No. Did he admit to poisoning your dog? No. OK, come here. So uh, exactly what proof do you have, Mr. Myers? <laughs> well, none. But I mean, it had to be him, Detective, because who else would have been? I mean, it's too coincidental. Perhaps. But uh, with all due respect, you might want to leave the police work to us. I mean, all you have is suspicion. And uh, I just want know, this hard... maniac to leave my family alone. I understand that, Mr. Lyons. May I ask you a question? Do you describe your marriage as solid? <laughs> said it's going to take a couple of days to get test results back. Oh, I feel so bad. I shouldn't have encouraged you, Jess. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. What did the police say? The police said no evidence, no witnesses, no arrest. But they also confirmed that he left the hotel today, so I just hope this is all over. <sighs> you and me both. Listen, you guys, I got to go pick up Katie from dance class, so I'm going to leave you now. But have a good workout. I'll call you later. Bye. Bye. What the hell are you trying to do? Accusing me of bullshit charges? You stay away from me. You stay away from my family. You know what? I don't know what you're trying to pull. But you contacted me first. You were a tease back then, and you're a tease now. You know? I think you're doing all of this so you didn't have to explain to your husband that you were hitting on me. You're crazy. I saw him. What? Where? Just outside my class about an hour ago. <sighs> Did he threaten you? No, but I was so scared. He must have followed me. I mean, after Lucy, I'm really scared <sighs> for the kids. What if he... Maybe nothing will happen to the kids. I won't let that happen. Mr. and Mrs. Landers? 
My name is Lisa Calders. I'm an attorney from Dallas. What's this about? It's important. May I come in? Sure. Please sit. Mr. and Mrs. Landers, what I'm about to tell you is highly confidential. In fact, I could be disbarred for passing on this information to you. This is about Marcus Stecklin, isn't it? I need your promise that you won't reveal my visit to anyone. Our conversation must remain confidential. <clears throat> of course. Let me be blunt. I had an opportunity to read the police report you filed. And there's no question in my mind that Marcus Declan is guilty. Yeah, but the police said they can't do anything because there's no evidence. True. That's why I'm here. A year ago, I represented Marcus Declan. You defended that creep? Yes. At the time, I believed he was innocent. Well, what was he charged with? Murder. Oh, my God. <sighs> Marcus lived in Dallas for a few years. He met a woman named Nicole Kingsley. They spent a few weeks together, after which she became frightened by his aggressive nature and called it off. Not long after, she disappeared. Days later, her battered body was found. Marcus was the last person to have seen her alive. Well, what happened after that? He was arrested as a prime suspect and charged with her murder. Their case was circumstantial. No witnesses, no evidence to place him at the scene of the crime. Let me guess. You got him off. He had a solid alibi. The jury believed him and set him free. Did you believe him? Yes, I did. His wife corroborated his alibi, and she was a very compelling witness. He was married? Yes. But since then, she approached me and recanted her story. She'd lied because she was afraid for her life. She believes he killed Nicole. You couldn't have gone to the police? He can't be tried again for the same crime. He's already been prosecuted and found innocent. Okay, so what you're telling us is that you believe my life is in danger. It could be, Mrs. Landers. My goal is to set a trap and stop him from hurting you or anyone else. What kind of trap? We can get justice if we catch him in the act. I need your help to do it. Do you and your wife want to put Marcus away? Yes, we do. Well, how dangerous would it be? There's risk involved. But I truly believe we can stop him. For good. Well, um, my wife and I have to think this over. Of course. Let me give you my cell phone number. And you can give me a call after you've had time to think it over. There you go. Thanks. Thanks. Take care. I'm not sure this is such a good idea. I think we should at least consider it, Russell. Listen, even if he doesn't come after me, he's probably going to go after somebody else, and we have the chance to stop him right now. Yes, the man is not just a stalker. He's a murderer. He's gotten away with it once. He may try it again. Yeah, well, I just I don't see what choice we have. Well, I think we can uh, wait for a few days, not antagonize this guy. And in the meantime, I think we should take the kids to your sisters until it's safe. That's a good idea. Pastor, I swear you come anywhere near my family. letting us know he's still around.
have perimeter motion detectors, which means if anyone comes within 50 feet of your house, it activates the floodlights. All windows and doors are wired. Motion detectors installed on the inside as well. Now, if the alarm system should go off, you'll have 60 seconds to disarm by phoning in with a code. Well, what happens if the phone line is cut? The alarm would still be activated, OK? Mr. and Mrs. Landers, your house is now online and monitored 24 hours a day by our central service. We appreciate you coming out so quickly. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, it's nice that we are prisoners in our own home. Hello? Oh, hey, Sam. No, 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 no. I have to take care of that myself. Yeah, so I'll come on in. Bye. Listen, sweetie, I gotta go into the office for a few hours. You, you gonna be okay here? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. We have the alarm system now. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Bye, sweetie. See you later. Bye. Lisa, it's Jessica Landers. Do you think you could meet me for coffee? Hey. hey, how's it going? He contacted you, didn't he? Yeah, last night. <sighs> God, why won't he just leave me alone? Oh, he's taunting you. He wants to keep you on the edge. It's a control tactic. I know where he is, Jessica. You do? How? Mm. I'm not working alone on this. I have some help. Is he still here? Oh, he's here. And he's not going anywhere soon. Have you and your husband come to a decision yet? No. You may feel safe at home, but he can strike anywhere. Please, be careful. I will. believe what I'm looking at right now. Try me. Remember that sexy negligee I've been waiting for? Yeah. Well, it has finally arrived. Well, I guess that means that Clay's gonna be in for one hell of a surprise tonight. Oh, that's right. And speaking of Clay, I was thinking I'd have that barbecue next week and introduce him to the boys. tried to kill me. This is insane. OK, got it, got it. We found the pickup a few blocks from here. It was reported stolen a few days ago. They're checking it for prints as we speak. Well there, well, there must have been some witnesses. Somebody must have seen who it was. We talked to all the witnesses present, but uh, no one saw the driver's face. He had a mask on. Did you tell him about Marcus Declan? Yeah. I've taken Mrs. Lander's statement. We're looking into it. We're finished for now, if you want to take her home. Thank you. 
Well, we're not finished. We're gonna go talk to Detective Weber. Unfortunately, the driver of the pickup was careful. It's clean, there's no prints. Come on, detective. It's got to be him. Who else could it be? There's just no facts to verify that. Oh, this is unbelievable, detective. The man is stalking me. I mean, what about the phone calls? Our dog? The rock through the window? I mean, come on. Now, I understand you're frustrated, Miss Slanders, but you must understand the facts. Now, the phone calls originated from untraceable calling cards. Okay, the toxicology report indicates rat poison, which could conceivably be from anywhere in your neighborhood. No one witnessed the rock being thrown through the car window. And when Marcus Declan confronted you, you yourself admitted that he didn't threaten you. So you're saying that he can just harass me all he wants and you're not going to do anything about it? No, Ed, not at this time, no. Detective, the man is a murderer. I can tell you. He... Mr. Landers. Marcus Declan was found innocent of all charges. Now, in the eyes of the court, he's not guilty. He is a suspect right now, as are others. Others? Who else is a suspect? Mrs. Landers, you contacted Mr. Declan by email and by telephone. Yeah. You admitted to dining with them on two occasions. You told me your marriage was rocky. And you kept this liaison quiet from your husband. Nothing happened. Well, the harassment started shortly thereafter. <laughs> I can see where this is going. Now I'm a suspect. We don't rule out anyone till we verify the facts, Mr. Landers. Now, I'll need to confirm your whereabouts. According to the officers, you weren't present during the attacks. This is crap. It's him. I know it. And you know it. Russell, wait! Why are you accusing my husband? It's standard procedure, Miss Landers. If your husband has nothing to hide, and he should cooperate, so we can eliminate him as a suspect. Russell didn't do this, detective. This is absurd. I mean, what about the car crash? The phone calls. The other night when the phone rang, Russell was with me. Did you hear a voice on the line when your husband was on the phone? No, I didn't, but I wasn't close enough to hear anything. Or maybe your husband set that call up. Also consider, your husband showed up shortly after the crash on the same road where the stolen vehicle was found. This is ridiculous. My husband is innocent. Oh. I hope that turns out to be true, Mrs. Landers. I do. Just do your job. You all right? Can you believe this, Sam? I'm a suspect. I don't think he believes you're responsible, Russell. He thinks the facts are going to clear you. It's humiliating. I mean, having people actually think that I could do this to my wife, my own wife. You know what? Don't think like that, even for a second, OK? Anybody who knows you knows you couldn't do something like this. Come on. Are you hurt? No, but I'm scared to death. Have you and your husband come to a decision? Not yet. Just please tell me that this plan of yours to trap Marcus is going to work. I truly believe it will. But only if your husband's involved. Get Russell to agree, Jessica. OK, I'll talk to him. Bye. Goodbye. 
Elisa? Yeah. Russell, we've run out of options. The police are not going to protect us, and, and Marcus is getting more violent and more bold. We have to do something. Okay. We're doing the right thing. I hope so. Here it is. That's perfect, John. Four undercover should be fine. I'm guessing within the next 72 hours. And Marcus? Good. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, John. Marcus is still in town. We can do it. We can nail the creep. All right. What's the plan? Jessica has to contact Marcus. She has to convince him that your marriage is crumbling, that she no longer loves you, that Marcus has stirred her emotions, and that she wants to see him again. Oh, Jessica has to see him again? It's crucial in order for us to trap him. How do I contact him? Uh, here's his number. I'll leave a message, he'll get back to you. What happens when he agrees to meet me? We play the vanity card. Marcus is extremely vain and egotistical. He craves attention and adulation. We're gonna use his psychological profile to our advantage. How's that? You're gonna wear a wire and we'll record the conversation. You convince Marcus that you want to be with him, but your husband's in the way. Clay, if only Russell weren't around, we could be together. <sighs> a murder plot to kill me? Yes. We get him conspiring to murder on tape, and I guarantee you this time he'll be convicted. How do we protect my wife when she's with him? Marcus will tell Jessica where to meet, and then she'll buy us some time so we can get our security in place. Okay, I can do that. Good. As soon as the bastard agrees to kill your husband, security will come in and apprehend him. <sighs> when do we start? Today. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Let's get started. Marcus, it's Jessica. Can you please call me right away? I just, I want to say I'm sorry. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and um, you're right. We do belong together. I miss you. I'll, I'll explain everything when we meet. Call me. I hope the hell this Lisa Calders knows what she's doing. Me too. <laughs> Jess has made the call. Great. Russell, head to your office and act like it's business as usual. It's best if you're not home. He may have ways of knowing if you're there or not. Don't worry. We know where he is. We won't let him out of our sight. You call me if anything happens, you understand? Absolutely. You'll be under constant surveillance. Don't hesitate for a second. Need me? I'll be fine. Don't worry. Uh, Russell, listen, buddy. We gotta get these agency interparty agreements signed off by the end of the week. So, if you could help me out and just sign... Earth to Russell. Please come in. Um, sorry, Sam. Uh, no problem. Uh, could you do me a favor? Of course. What do you need? Could you get me some information on a lawyer by the name of Lisa Calder? She's a, a criminal defense attorney out of Dallas, Texas. Uh, sure. Let me get this file underway, and I'll get that information for you, all right? 
Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. Is everything okay? Fine, fine. Everything is just fine. Rockwell Place in 45 minutes. I think our problems with Marcus have been solved. What about Russell? I'll call Russell. You go. Okay, I'll see you there. Yeah. Hey, Russell. Listen, um, about that information you wanted. I'm sorry, I wasn't able to help you. What do you mean? Apparently, there is no such person practicing law in Dallas, now or ever. Are you certain you have the correct name? Yeah, um, Lisa Calders. That can't be right. Well, um, I can check nationally if you want. Yeah, could you do that for me, please? Sure, done. Thanks, man. Okay. Lisa. What the hell's going on here? She's not who she says she is. Her name isn't Lisa. Oops. Guess the cat is out of the bag. Dino, why are you doing this? Shut up, Marcus. Who are you? Tell them who I am. She's my wife. Mrs. Dana Declan. A fact that Marcus has conveniently forgotten so many times. 
You just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? Dana, please. I loved you, Marcus. But that wasn't good enough for you. That slutty Nicole got in the way. You killed Nicole? She begged for her life. But what about me? Look what she took from my life. She destroyed my marriage. They suspected my Marcus. But love and wife, he swore in court that he was at home at the time of the murder. You didn't figure it out, did you, honey? Huh? It was you who made the phone calls. The Rock. You poisoned our dog. You're crazy. Huh? We'll see who's crazy, Russell. Dana, stop it now and I'll come back to you. I love you, baby. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Don't you get it? Too little, too light. This time, Jessica has come between us. Nothing happened. Shut up with your lies. Quiet! Quiet! Maybe you're not together yet. But I know my Marcus, and he'd hurt me all over again. But not this time. This time, Marcus is going to get what Marcus deserves. No! 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 You'll never get away with this. It's the perfect setup. Perfect. A crime of jealousy. I'm like quite a convincing lawyer, don't I? We have two children. Don't do this. Blah, blah, blah. OK. Here it goes. A wife disenchanted with her husband reaches out for comfort. The husband discovers the liaison. Jealous, angry, consumed with rage. You wait for the opportune moment. You follow them here. Marcus has a gun. He shoots you, hitting you in the arm. See? Your wife rushes to you, but you push her away. You and Marcus struggle over the gun. It goes off, striking the bitch. Killing her. Nobody is going to believe you. Oh. But I beg to differ. See, Marcus, shocked by Jessica's death, Stop struggling. You grab the gun, kill him, already done, and take your own life. No more love triangle. No witnesses. No! Bye, Russell. No! Russell! Run! There's nowhere to hide, Jessica. <laughs> Russell's dead. He's as much to blame as you are. Thank <laughs> you. 
Looks like your nightmare is over. You've got your lives back. We're gonna follow up on Lisa's admission to Nicole Kingsley's murder. Thanks. I love you, Russell. I love you. so happy. Don't you know anything about the sympathy routine? Oh, now, how are you gonna get Jessica or anybody else to do anything for you if you look so good? Right, thanks. Now, as your lawyer, I'm advising you to fake a coma immediately. Ah, just give me the candy. Go ahead, start drooling. You'll be good. <laughs> look who's here to see you. <laughs>
Thank you.